signs were but the sailors said before we reached the land but I dismissed the omen with a wave of my hand and as I turn these pages and consider where we stand the times our fortune smiled on us were few and in adversity no man should ask for more Than to face it with a loyal crew And in the night I swear somebody softly called my name Was it you? 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 the bowl and found that simple note I cried three cheers for Amundsen but the words stuck in my throat and turning back as in a dream unspoken we all knew with the burden of our broken hearts we never make it through and if we lived, I'd surely have a tale to tell Of companions, loyal, brave and true And in the night I swear somebody softly called my name Was it you? 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 of hope has run aground and never will set sail there is no more I can do snuff out the candle flame for I can write no more and sleep is beckoning the new and in the night I swear somebody saw was it you? 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 Somebody softly call my name Was it you? Was it you? Was it you? was irreverent much loved within his parish on these southern shores of England he headed west to officiate his brother William's marriage 
on the ocean line at Titanic. His parish paid for the privilege to help him on his voyage in repayment for his service. Two thousand two hundred and eight on board. Thomas Biles, he did please the Lord on these southern shores of England. Pens will write, tongues will speak of this ocean liner sailing west to New York. Tales from home. Talk of news unknown of this maiden voyage from beautiful England we Thomas did prepare with grace and peace. He did declare for each sin to sail with his words. Greater love has no one than this to leave this life aboard the ship as the light comes down before.
great heights The mist lingering Beneath black and darkened skies You can see it from the valley See it from the valley Thank you for joining us here at um, the Barrel House. Ooh. Yeah, it's um, yeah, it feels really good to be playing in such a nice space. Lovely. Which song was that, Dave, that we started with? That was called The Beacon. Ah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the title track of the new album. And um, <coughs> so, yeah, we're going to play the... Um, the album song by song as it is on the record which we've never done before for an album <laughs> launch so um yeah we've got some practices in so it should be should be all good <laughs> um so strangely no you know it's actually feel quite terrifying nervous. yeah <laughs> C- considering this uh, the camera people and the sound person <laughs> so, um, yeah it's a strange environment to feel real performance nerves yeah. it's good 
Yeah, it is good. I haven't felt like this in a while, <laughs> so it's yeah, good to have those feelings Long time back. since playing. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, we can play music still. <laughs> this is great. Well, <laughs> can we? Let's, let's find out. Time will tell. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So the second track on the album is um, is a song called Edith Cavill. And um, this is a song that Dave wrote. Uh, the words are a poem by Robert Lawrence Binion. Um, and we, or Dave wrote it years ago, and we actually previously recorded it, but um, we kind of revived it about this time last year when the UK went into lockdown and um, yeah, all the NHS frontline workers who were going out to work every day and um, risking their lives really to save people and to, um, yeah, to, to live the life that they had um, kind of dedicated themselves to. And um, so this is Edith Cavill, which tells the story of British nurse Edith, who was stationed in Belgium during the First World War. And she um, tended to soldiers on both sides of the conflict and also helped civilians to escape from German occupied Belgium. And she was subsequently found to be doing this um, put in solitary confinement for 10 weeks, I think, then taken to trial where she admitted that she had done these things, held, held her hands up and said, yes, I did them because I'm a nurse and that's what I should do. And she was subsequently shot at dawn by German firing squad. Um, <clears throat> and apparently throughout all of this ordeal, she was just bold and calm. And um, yeah, so this is a tribute to Edith Cavill and also a tribute to the NHS staff. Finding the wounds of her enemies when they came They battered the door with their rifle butts Crashed into it They held her before the judges where they sat With question and menace the judges assailed her Yes, I have broken your law, she said. I have tended the hurt and hidden the hunted. I've done as a sister does to a brother. Deal as you will with me. To live in the life I vowed. In the terrible hour of the dawn when the veins are cold. They led her forth to the war. She said, love requires of me all. She faced them gentle and bold. 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 <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs> How are we all doing out there? Well, we can't um, read your comments in real time, actually. So we're going to... Uh, I'm not sure what Addie's plan is, but... Uh, mine and Freya's plan is to um, go home and watch ourselves <laughs> uh, and then read all your lovely comments. So they will get read 
Um, what's your plan? Um, driving to Falmouth. <laughs> and then bed. Um, oh, and eating the pizza from earlier. That's pretty exciting. And I, I expect drunken updates as you watch the gig whilst I drive. <laughs> Obviously, I won't check my phone, but I will be, I'll, be, I'll be vicariously partying with you. Sounds good. <laughs> so but, this um, is another oh. one of yours to introduce. It is. I was going to say that um, our lovely manager and friend Katie Whitehouse is on the on the internet though so um any questions or anything um yeah katie's there to um to take questions for us um at the end when we have a bit of a q a which is also something we've never done before <laughs> don't know who we think we are <laughs> <laughs> um but this is the third track on the album which is called i make a nest and um i wrote this i wrote the words last autumn um which we'd, we'd actually, we'd just moved at that point, And so there must have been some kind of subconscious thoughts going on there somewhere. Um, but I, I absolutely love autumn. It's my favorite season. And I've been out for a walk one day and just, um, just I just, I find it quite, um, quite a emotional kind of spiritual sort of time, I suppose. I find, um, yeah, it feels like everything is kind of stripped back and you're left with what what you really are. Um, so I've been out for a walk and then I got home and this these words just came out, which is always really nice when that happens. Um, so Seems to happen to you more than it does me these <laughs> days. <laughs> no, that's not true. <laughs> Yours happens when you're walking, not when you get home. Um, but yeah, this is this is that song, I Make a Nest. The rusty lace of autumn lays her magic down And I remember who I am and where it is I'm found The years of the earth reveal Take an artist to paint these sunset skies with hands like no other, to sketch beauty for our eyes. It feels like coming home back to what we've Creatures Jesus. 
reason Autumn gives me all I've lost So I make a nest As all creatures must I make a nest Creatures must. I make a nest as all creatures must. Thank you. <laughs> well done, Freya. That was lovely. <laughs> So now we're, we're going to um, move on to the next song in, on our new album. And this is a song um, called Whenever You See a Robin. And there seems to be a lot of robins out at the minute, which is wonderful. It's a song that um, I wrote for my good friend, Jake Corty, who just so happens to be the wonderful filmmaker who makes all of our wonderful videos. And um, he just asked me to write a song for his dad that's no longer with us. And um, he just shared just the the best stories and the best anecdotes, and um, so it was really easy to 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 try and capture the man, which is a hard thing to do. Um, but he was pleased. That's that's all I wanted really, his validation. Um, yeah, and we're really pleased with it. So this is whenever you see a robin, which is in D, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy said that was once described as a cross between Clint Eastwood and Stig of the Dump. He was brave too, drove his car into Jimmy to stop it rolling into traffic and into trouble. Time is made up, just everything happening at the same time. Whenever you see a robin, don't forget to tip your hat, dear chaps. was chased by a bear one time Oh boy, did he love his dog called Scooter Riding horses across Spanish mountains I think he wanted to be a cowboy He just needs some guns He marched for peace Without a penny to his name His wedding day, he wore machine gun bullets around his waist. You can hear the wolves howling at night in the western wing at Sparkwell. The wolves he fed as a child. He lived in a squat in London, a haunted farmhouse called Bellamarsh, Cracklewood in South Britain. Trying to create his pyramid He used to ride with the robins On his prize to Kati Following the wind through Thurston Through Staverton and Navin Diamond Up the mountain We lost him on the 5th of December Sudden Unexpected Too young 
Whenever you see a robin, don't forget to tip your hat, dear chaps. Whenever you see a robin, don't forget to tip your hat, dear chaps. Presuming you're right and encouraging things. <laughs> How's everybody doing out there, Katie? Two thumbs up. Yeah. That's good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the mosh pit. Wow. Okay. So this next song, um, it's a song um, called Every Creature is a Book. And uh, it's a song that came to me actually after reading... Um, some readings from the 13th century philosopher and theologian Meister Eckhart. Whoa. Whoa. My big name drop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hopefully you get some um, sponsorship with him. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's just quite a simple concept that, um, you know, we're all creatures really and um, we all have different pages and you can't, you know, you can't necessarily see what's going on inside someone. Um, but we all have a million things going on in our heads at once and if and you walk past someone in the street you don't know what they're going through and but we're all beautiful creatures so it's a it's a hopeful song anyway that's what I intended of the ocean swell we can feel the smallness of ourselves against her we ignite the air every creature is a bird every creature has a hungry ghost every child like soul it longs to wonder every creature is a bird Push and pull of an endless side Working our way back into the dust Secure and stable road Mother Nature swallowed them whole The wind is curling, the waves are crashing down And the soul is a wanderer And with the seasons change where possibilities sleep Discoveries emerge Every creature is a bird Every creature has a hungry ghost Every childlike soul it longs to wonder 
Every creature is a bug The push and pull of an endless tide Working our way back into the dust Every creature is a bug Every creature has a hungry ghost Every childlike soul longs to wonder And every creature is a bug The push and pull of an endless tide Working our way back into the dark Every creature is a book. <laughs> so, <hope> we'll, <laughs> so we'll we'll, uh, we'll go with the um, with whatever's going on in our head, instead of the audience participation. <laughs> <laughs> hope you're all having a lovely Friday night beer. Very much looking forward to our post-show refreshment. <laughs> Look forward to catching up with you all when. When we can play <coughs> in front of people, that'd be wonderful. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, thank you very much for um for tuning in and and spending the evening with us. Um, yeah, it really does mean a lot. We were getting excited before we <laughs> started streaming, looking at the numbers of people <laughs> going up, getting Slow. excited and nervous. <laughs> so, yeah, starting to relax a bit now. Are you? I'm still on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to relax. Um, <laughs> um, stylistic, Ben. <laughs> he should know that. Come on, Ben. His guitars are always very shiny. To be fair. <laughs> we can just you can discuss with Ben about the um, the impromptu jazz guitar he added to Northumberland uh, when we played in Wigan. <laughs> After a bottle of wine. Yeah, cause <laughs> he, he, he said he enjoyed the gig actually, watching us, and then we got him on for an encore after a bottle of wine. He played all the jazz chords <laughs> in Northumberland. <laughs> it's all good. Makes a difference from my jazz Sounded concertina. great, Ben. Really great. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Only joking. <laughs> um, so the next track on the album is Lights, um, and this is our most recent single that we released um, a couple of weeks ago. And um, this was another song that kind of just came out after I'd been for a walk. Um, and it was one of those where I didn't really know what it was about. It just it just appeared. And I was like, oh, OK, <laughs> kind of work backwards. What what's what's going on there then? <laughs> what's that all about? Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> And I've tried to to work it out, and I think <laughs> I think it's about because it was written during lockdown and um, the first kind of very strict lockdown, and um, I think it's about human interaction and connection, um, and just yeah, we're, we're fascinating creatures, and that it's not. No, not all of our communication is verbal. There is so much more you can feel from a person um, that is not said through words. And um, yeah, I think I was kind of pondering on that and um, obviously lack of human interaction during lockdown. Um, so yeah, I think that's what it's about. But <laughs> if you interpret it in some other way, then that's absolutely wonderful as well. So, um, so this is Lights. Excuse me, had a cheese pizza, <laughs> that wasn't a very good idea. <laughs> Lights, fire up the sky, I hear you calling, I feel you call me. Time is but a lie, they don't bring you closer. We don't get closer You I've known before See you inside me I recognize 
recognize it But all the roads I've tried have left me out in the cold All the words I've sighed will never reach your soul tried have left me out in the cold all the words i've sighed will never reach your soul to play the album um, track by track as well. Mm. Um, so Freya's going to get all totness on us now <laughs> and do some beat poetry <laughs> while sat on the floor. Whoa. Whoa. We are in totness though, so yeah. it's, it's the only place you're allowed to do this for us. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go getting any ideas. <laughs> Big, a huge shout out to the, um, the talented team at Sorting Room Studios who are Amazing. just have been... Uh, remarkable yeah. so in terms of video and and audio audio and just generally being great people amazing um, so yeah you should check them out if you haven't already they even hoovered the stage for us before <laughs> yeah this that has never happened before oh no, that's quality <laughs> that is q and a and a hoovered stage <laughs> <laughs> what's happened <laughs> yeah <laughs> we really have got ideas above our station <laughs> these days but no thank you for <laughs> It's nice to be able to, to do it here with the alternative being um, an iPhone in, in the living room. <laughs> Nanny <laughs> in the garden. A, yeah, me, me on a dodgy <laughs> Zoom link somewhere. <laughs> it felt right to do uh, the album justice because we, yeah. we're really proud of the album. Mm-hmm. And to do it here. Um, this was the Barrel House just over a year ago. It was one of the last gigs we played, wasn't it? Sixth of March, yeah. 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 I think it was the last gig here. Sounds cool. Close the doors, and then our previous album, mm. "See Is My Brother," we launched here as well. So it just, yeah. And this was where we met Annie for the yeah. first time ever. So On this stage, yeah. this very stage. Yeah. So lots of happy it memories. Seems very here. fitting, doesn't it's it? A lovely journey. It we were doing support slots here. Chris, Chris was booking us support slots when, like ten years ago. Yeah. And you'd bring your piano. Yeah. And play your piano. Full Crazy. circle. <laughs> Um, so this is um, a piece of music um, <laughs> called <laughs> Anamkara, um, which is uh, the the Gaelic for <laughs> yeah. that's the one Gaelic for um, soul friend, and um, 
yeah, I wrote, I, I started writing poetry um, during lockdown as well. I found that that was a really nice um, release of, of, of something. <laughs> and um, it was quite nice to not feel the pressure to then try and turn it into a song, just to kind of leave the words as they were. Um, and uh, yeah, I wrote this poem on the way to the river where we live in South Brent. There's a beautiful bit of woodland and um, a wonderful swimming spot. And I was walking there one day for a swim and my my mind kept telling me, no, you don't have to get in. You can just go for a nice sunny walk. You don't have to get in the cold river. Um, but there was something deep within me that I knew I, I had to get in the water. I, I needed it. So um, So that's what the poem is about. And then, do you want to talk about the tunes? Um, yeah. I mean, take it away, Annie. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I said yeah. I don't know what I'm going to say. Go for it. No, you um, Dave melody. sent me over the. Well, you had some chords that we put together, um, various bits that pieced together, and you I put some lo lovely tunes over. Yeah, it. and they, it just sort of fell out, just a bit like with Freya's. It just, I guess, captured whatever emotion I might have been feeling at that time. I couldn't put a word on it, but that's yeah. that's what came yeah. out. So. Yeah, it's an instrumental piece. It pretty piece. good. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. It's all right. <laughs> we can just be we can be our own fan club here because it's just us. We can just be our own biggest supporters. Yeah. Well, that's nice. We though, can just ignore it? all the hate mail <laughs> in the stream. <laughs> but it's the the title Adam Carrara, it's actually it comes from a book by one of my favourite um, authors and thinkers, John O'Donoghue, and our uh, wonderful friend Chris Lannan, who we also play in Brother C with. He um he was the first one. He just gave me that book. He's like. Read that, see what you think. And, um, and ever since then, I've just been obsessed with with his writings and, and you enjoy them as well. And, I, yeah. and now I'm having cold showers and winter swimming in the river. I think I'm going through a very early <laughs> crisis. Oh, wow. But it's, it's good to you know keep your head in check by doing yeah. things like that. Sounds going like for crazy yeah. walks. Do you need some marriage counselling? <laughs> 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 Actually, lockdown's been a blessing for our marriage, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. We were like, when we came home from Germany, we were the opposite. We were volcanic. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So. So yeah, a peaceful year, staying at home, no travelling, no stress. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah. So this is Anam Kara. It will be cold, my mind tells me. I'm going to start that again, because I've said the wrong thing. <laughs> it will be cold, my skin tells me, and my mind listens, forces my pores to contract and my organs to withdraw, as though all I am is blood and bone as though all that is worth honouring is my body. But from this well of flesh, my soul whispers, and my heart turns and leaps with knowing, commandeers the frigate that is my matter and steers me towards the river. And sure enough, as I bathe in its cooling depth, Forgiving hands pull away the cells that no longer serve me. As I turn to you, a small voice whispers, It is cold, but it is wonderful too.
Thank you. <laughs> so it was Anam Kara, and um, I'd like to find my plectrum. <laughs> I'd like with um, this album's been a really beautiful process um, to make, and we recorded it um, in our living room actually, and we just laid everything up, and it was a really nice way of recording. And um, and a big shout out to Josh Best Shaw, who um, just basically brought his enthusiasm and his musicality and his ears. And um, he brought our ideas to life and and laughed at some of our, our ideas, which were usually mine, ridiculous ones, or just said, no, we're not, we're not going to put that in, <laughs> which I found really refreshing and nice. Um, and also Daniel Preston as well, who is, has been a, a friend of mine and a long, long time collaborator. He did the artwork for See is My Brother and the beautiful artwork. If you haven't got a CD already, you, um, you need a physical copy just just so you can see his beautiful drawings. And it's um, a drawing of Ugba Beacon, the beacon we can see from um, from our front room in all weathers, which is just inspires us every day. So, yeah, um, it's really nice to work with both of them. It was Hopefully. quite um, magical on the first day that we started recording. The first song we recorded was The Beacon. And unfortunately, we had to have the curtain shut um, because... Um, sound and things but um so we couldn't see the beacon but a storm was rolling in over the moors and you could hear the thunder in the distance and it all felt very appropriate and atmospheric um so this is the eighth track from the album and this one is called fc jonas and um this is a song about my granddad fred who we sadly lost a couple of years ago um, and it's called FC Jonas because I share, or did share before I was a Harbottle, shared the exact same initials um, as my granddad. And I always felt so proud of this when I was younger. And so I thought that would be an appropriate title for the track. Um, but I wanted to write a song for him. He was, um, he was quite a modest, humble man and wrestled with life, really. Um, basically for the whole way through his life until the last few years where there was just such a shift in his in his outlook I suppose um of yeah of life and it was an amazing thing to see and um yeah just a, a wonderful kind of transformation so um yeah so I wanted to write a song to remember to remember him really to honor his memory and um yeah, so this is FC Jonas. strange and it's fragile in our hands. We 
maybe our lives never go as we had planned but life is dancing with you though you buried your soul when you didn't need to and you think of your time left to roam and you cherish each day before you journey How's everyone out there? <laughs> Is everyone enjoying it? Well, we're enjoying it as well. So we're going to, um, this is the penultimate track on the album actually, um, and then we thought we'd, so for the rest of this um, live stream, so we're going to finish the album, which would feel like the right thing to do since we've got this far, <laughs> um, eight tracks in, and then we're going to play um, a handful of songs that we just love playing from our um, older sets, from happier times when we used to be a gigging band, <laughs> which is when professional musicians what? I think that's the only way to get real <laughs> real because we practiced twice recently but the, there's nothing like a gig in band to get you tight yeah um, well oiled but it's, it's quite nice the, the kind of human <laughs> mistakes <laughs> the Please. humanness of this jazzy. set <laughs> um, but yeah I'm sure everyone understands that we probably yeah. <laughs> haven't aren't gig ready <laughs> But um, yeah, this is our song Shelter. May your home be a shelter. When you roam, won't you know you've got home to comfort you? May your feet feel the blessing of this sacred earth, this ancient path. Which we all once belong, we will return. May the weight of this world. Lighten the love 
once you hold on your shoulders, then you will unfurl your sail. To wake an invention, your spirit will navigate the stormy seas. For you were born to wander. For you were born to wander. Wide open arms await you Wide open arms await you Won't you come home Won't you come home With your eyes young again Wide open arms await you Um, so yes, thanks very much for um, for tuning in. Um, so this next song is the last one on the album, but um, but then after that we're going to play um, a few favourites of ours. So um, they might be a bit more familiar to you. Um, but this next song was another of the singles that we released, and um, it's our our favourite Celtic ballad that we've played for a while. We've played it for a good few years now. Um, and so we thought it was about time that we got it on a record. So in a moment, we will play Black is the Colour. Um, but yeah, the, the beacon is out there for all to hear. Ooh. <laughs> Sounds a bit scary over there. Um, so it can be found uh, on our band camp, um, our band camp page is probably the best place to buy it from for us um <laughs> we get the most the most of the fee from if you buy it through band camp um and then it's available to download as well on amazon um so yeah do grab a copy if um if you haven't done yet and if you if you'd really like to um support and encourage us um to for this evening if you there's a there's a tip jar that I do believe um some lady called Katie who's might be posting that said link. Um so if you'd like to pay what you might normally would um for a gig ticket we'd really appreciate that um because um it's a it's a way of supporting us and it's a way of supporting um the barrel house and uh, sorting room studios and um just keeping everything ticking over nicely and um 
but um, no pressure. <laughs> I think we're there. Well, wow. okay. Mm. Thought it sounded a bit snappy over there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's not too bad for me. One one tune. Yeah, the set. very good. It's very slick. Very organised. Yeah. Have you been practising? <laughs> I've had plenty of time. <laughs> <laughs> the color of my true love's hair His lips are like some roses fair He's the sweetest
brings the beacon to a close. Um, just like to take this opportunity just to say thank you to everyone um, throughout this p past year, which has been a challenge, um, to everyone that's supported us because we, we've really felt uh, your support and we really feel encouraged and humbled by it. So thank you very much. And um, we're going to treat you with more songs. <laughs> and this is the one we should know, in theory, because we played this one a lot. We have. Not for a long time, but no. we played it a lot. Yeah. We'll see. Feels like a gig now. Uh, We're yeah, doing yeah. stuff that we know. <laughs> <laughs> that felt like an outer body experience. Yeah. <laughs> I'm now doing a gig. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so this is one that you might recognise. Um, it's from our album, The Sea Is My Brother. Um, and it's the song, Was It You? Which um, tells the final moments of Scott of the Antarctic. And it's a beautiful song, um, originally written by Ewan Carruthers, but um, we first heard it being sung by Mike Silver, and so we, um, we sing Mike's arrangement of the song. Um, and yeah, w it, yeah, it's just beautiful. When we were practicing it the other week, because we haven't played it in so long, I was so struck by how beautiful it was that I, I think I just stopped singing. <laughs> just, <laughs> I was concentrating on how beautiful it was, so I'll try not to do that tonight. <laughs> Or you start thinking about what you're going to have tea, which no, tends to happen. It does, I, I well, agree. Am I going to have enough time to get my eight hours in bed? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's also important. All the important artistic thoughts Freya has. Yeah, <laughs> but no, it actually was because I was yeah thinking about how beautiful the song was. Yes. Signs were bad, the sailors said, before we reached the land But I dismissed the omen with a wave of my hand And as I turn these pages and consider where we stand The times that fortune smiled on us were few Adversity, no man should ask for more than to face it with a loyal crew. And in the night, I swear somebody softly called my name. Was it you? 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 And when at last we'd reached the pole And found that simple note I cried three cheers for Amundsen But the word stuck in my throat And turning back as in a dream Unspoken we all knew With the burden of our broken hearts we never make it through And if we lived I'd surely have a tale to tell Of companions loyal, brave and true And in the night I swear somebody softly called my name was it you? 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 My comrades have departed on a journey with no end I wait alone a captain with no crew But a ship of hope has run aground And never will set sail There's no more I can do Snuff out the candle flame for I Beckoning the new 
And in the night I swear somebody softly called my name Was it you? 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 Somebody softly called my name Was it you? Was it you? Was it you? Oh, that felt nice. <laughs> it's like coming home. Yeah. <laughs> Something we know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just um, quick... Quick happy birthday shout. So Rich Trithui, who um, we play with brother, uh, within Brother C, it's his birthday. So ah. hopefully you're watching us at home. If not, why not? <laughs> <laughs> what else is on, you know? <laughs> this is the place to be right now. So big happy birthday to you. And sending love and hugs. Kiss, kiss, kiss. XO, <laughs> <laughs> XO. <laughs> um, this is so going from a nice happy birthday to um big shout out to my mum and dad in... Northumberland, and um, so this is my dad's. What? That's where they are. That is where they are. <laughs> and uh, we're not going to play Northumberland though. Oh, so there you go. <laughs> so the, the cat's out the bag. The surprise is done. We're not playing it, <laughs> despite all the incessant requests on the chat. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm just being silly. Um, oh, well, which guitar do I need? The other one. So this is a song for my dad because he um, he said, "Son." I want this song played at my funeral. <laughs> I was like, whoa, Dad, that's pretty heavy. Um, dropping that one on me. But um, I thought, okay, probably best start learning it now then. <laughs> Get it good. I want to do a good job. Um, so this is a beautiful song by Natalie Merchant. And it's called Motherland. We've not played this one for a while. Mm -hmm. no, not since. So here we go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> the best of life and 
the most of love If there's anything I can do at all Come on, shotgun bride What makes me envy your life? The faceless, the nameless The innocent, the blameless and free What's that like to be motherland? Cradle me, close my eyes, lullaby me to sleep. Keep me safe, lie with me, stay beside me, don't go. Motherland, cradle me, close my eyes, lullaby me sleep keep me safe lie with me stay beside me don't go so that was motherland which is a uh, just such a wonderful song um, we're going to play two more and there'll be no encores because We've only prepared two more. <laughs> and uh, so the encore is that you um, can be virtually graced by the wonderful presence of Katie Whitehouse, Ooh. who um, is this ethereal, mysterious character who only exists in people's <laughs> dreams. But tonight, we'll see the real deal. Mm-hmm. For one night only. <laughs> She's going to ask us grilling questions, apparently. <laughs> like an interview like for a job <laughs> I'm going to play a cover by the boss man now Woo-hoo. just going to do a quick tune okay. not very happy okay so you've got about 30 seconds to tell a nice story whoa whoa um <laughs> so this song um it's my favourite Springsteen song it's not one of his I don't know I don't think it's um well, I don't know. It's my favourite anyway. And um, yeah, we, we started learning this um, a few years ago. Started playing it, sorry, a few years ago. It hasn't taken us years to learn. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's I'm on fire. What are your thoughts on Steve Bruce as Newcastle manager? Um, he's not doing very well at the minute. Nice man, but nice man. not doing great <laughs> for the team, I don't think. Has he got a go? I think he probably does, Dave, to be honest. Good. Managed to get a little bit of Newcastle United chat in there. <laughs> Always looking for that. I've seen the hurt in you after the Newcastle matches recently, so... Uh, but I'm, I have less black days now that I, I used to really let it affect me. Yeah. Not anymore. No, you don't go under a grey cloud so much anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so this is I'm on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Linking seamlessly. <laughs> <coughs> Hopefully Newcastle will be in the next match. Linking seamlessly. Mm. They need to do oh, more well, of I that. Oh, well, I meant be on fire. Oh, right. <laughs> be electric. Gotcha. got a bad desire Oh, I'm on fire Tell me now, baby, is he good to you? And can he do to you the things that I do? I can take you high Oh, I'm on fire
Sometimes it's like someone took a knife, baby, edgy and dull, and put a six-inch valley through the middle of my skull. At night I wake up with a sheet soaking wet and a freight train running through the middle of my head, and you, you cool my desire. So we've reached the end. We have been Freya Jonas, <laughs> Annie Bayless, <laughs> and David Harbottle. Wow, well, we've never done that before. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, who am I? <laughs> just, just so flat the atmosphere in here. I'm just trying to think of ways to. Um, and, uh, Do you want some fireworks? I just need. To, usually, need something to work off, don't you? At a gig, and uh, I really quite like getting heckled or like, you know, something to w- anything, something to work with. <laughs> um, Yes, it's not we? completely flat in here. It's pretty vibey. Oh yeah, aesthetically, <laughs> visually it is. But um, you know. I know. But, oh. We're getting told to shut. Sh- <laughs> is that like a get on with it? <laughs> I think uh, I think they want to go home, <laughs> so we better hurry up. Um, so this next song is written by a good pal of mine, um, Ben Blantz. And we're going to finish with it because we love it so much. Um, and he play played plays in a band called Jukebox Gypsy with um, with some great people and musicians. And um, I was lucky enough to play support them back in the day when I was more than ten years ago. How old am I now? <laughs> yeah, more than ten years ago, and um, it was really great grounding for me. It made me realise that um, you can do music as a, a professional career and make money off it just by playing gigs and that was a really good uh, thing to to learn from them and that's what we did like me and Freya and Annie's always kind of done it yeah. for as long as um, what until the pandemic yeah <laughs> and um, so we me and Freya were teachers and we'd give up our jobs and we did it full time for four years until March um, but yeah it's, it's it can happen it's and that's, this is what I tell kids every day in school um don't let anybody poo poo your dream. Mm-hmm. If you want to be a musician, you be a musician. Yeah. Right. Uh, right. <laughs> don't shit on my dreams. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we were going to swear. <laughs> now, I'm going to have to put an explicit thing in. It's going to make it logistically much more challenging. You're welcome. <laughs> so, this is um, a song by Ben Blantz, and it's a song called Water. so peaceful to me the night sun as the town of war the higher ground lake with unspoiled youth the child laughed as his father spoke a thousand whisperings call out Glide across this fragile moon for eternity. For eternity. eternity. 
I will trade over my waiting gold for one more sight of that swallow's flight. And I will occupy this fractured mind until the stars fall from the night. And whisperings call out and glide across this fragile moon for eternity. For eternity. I seek, don't hide your wrong. I find, look around, it's cold, your sun is old, water, release me, water, release me, water, release me. Water, release me, 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 release me. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. 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 <laughs> oh. the other way. We we only had one audience member, and she didn't even clap. Oh. So uh, disappointing. It, it became. Oh. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I have to say that the four of us who've been spellbound by you tonight, so that's me, Aubrey, Jimmy and Tommy on all the three amazing team on tech. We should give yeah. them a round of applause. Woo! <laughs> yeah, Fab amazing, job. amazing, amazing job. But I think we're probably four of the luckiest people in the world tonight because, you know, we got to hear all, that, all of that live and um, we feel really lucky. I mean, I've been... So, um, if any of you don't know, I'm Katie Whitehouse, and I'm uh, I'm lucky enough to work with Harbottle and Jonas, and um, have been for three years, and um, very glad that to be working with you. Watched you grow from strength to strength, and um, yeah, I've, I've listened to that album, The Beacon, all these songs for months now since you recorded them in uh, last autumn, and but nothing beats hearing them like this. But it's a stunning album. The beacon is lit. <laughs> <laughs> the beacon is lit today. Woo! Uh, <laughs> really, really, really beautiful. Um, it feels really fitting that uh, the last time there was a live gig in the Barrel House, it was U3. And here you are back doing the first live streamed gig, and I believe there's going to be more of these, and then eventually real gigs again. Um, but um, So March the 6th, 2020, um, this room was heaving, heaving. It was packed out with sweaty, happy people <laughs> oh, hugging each other. Such good yeah. And um, so just briefly talk us through what happened next, because I don't think you got the chance to tell the full story of what happened after that. So we, we played a wonderful gig here uh, on the 6th of March and then we were full of the jollies. And then I think... We went to London. Day, the day after, we went to Wigan and you oh, yeah. maybe played a Cayley gig, I think. Oh, yeah, probably the Cayley. Yeah, so we went our separate rays yeah. briefly. So we played oh, a gig yeah. in Wigan with uh, Ben Morgan-Brown and the lovely Ian there. Um, and 
So that was wonderful. And then Is we that Ben Morgan Brown of the very shiny, clean guitar? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. well, you know, he spends too much time cleaning it. <laughs> <laughs> Learn how to play the damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. He puts me to shame. Um, so we then played a gig in the Green Note in London, um, oh, which is just amazing. Such a, a, cra- a just a beautiful venue. And we wanted to play there for ages. Um, and we played there, and it was magic. And that was, you know, just when... COVID was starting to happen in the news. And we, we got messages that evening um, that um, festivals that we were due to play at as Brother C were being cancelled because mm. of COVID. And so we were a bit confused because yeah. I was like, part of me was just so, so excited to go to Germany to do this tour, and then stuff was happening there, cancelled. I'm like, a bit confusing. Um, so then we got to Germany. Um, we based ourselves in uh, the Black Forest, which is just mm. absolutely stunning. And we did a big shop. We did like a three-week <laughs> shop because we had a base and we had these house concerts. Um, I think I had about 15 booked in and just all within like two hours of the house. So it's like the dream tour because um, people are really generous at house concerts and they're just lovely. Uh, when they say house, it was like a castle, so one of them. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. like one beautiful. Was a, one was an actual palace. Yeah. Which we stayed in, which was, uh, which was amazing. And, um, and yeah, after two or three gigs... Um, you, you and Annie. Well, they shut the border to Switzerland, didn't they? And that was the kind of alarm bells. Yeah. So we were like, oh, we can't actually get there, or do yeah. we get stuck in Switzerland and not come back? So it started to feel a bit more real, didn't yeah, it? Yeah. Classic it me, the classic stuff, and Dave wasn't. I was wasn't prepared to accept that that COVID existed. So when Faye and Annie were like, yeah, we need to go home now, and I was like, no, we can make it work. <laughs> it will work. Um, but then it didn't work. And we went home via Bruges, and that was weird being in Bruges. Mm. Just kind of weirdly beautiful, like yeah. bittersweet. Yeah, wonderful for introverts. To but, look, like the but luckily, the um, McDonald's was open. Well, <laughs> and the um, what's you know what the the essential shops. So we we got like twenty bottles of seven oh, yeah. percent um, Belgian beer. So we had a really good night. Essentials. Essentials, yeah. <laughs> and then we ended up buying Annie's uh, share off. of the shop. <laughs> so it was a three-way shop, and we realised. We, sh- we shouldn't go to a shop because um, you're supposed to isolate when you come back. Um, so, yeah, luckily, that big I shop actually came pasta. in. It was <laughs> good. Yeah, pasta and toilet roll. <laughs> Ideal. And then we spent our profits on um, on the duty-free, mm. on the alcohol on the way back. So it wasn't all bad. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, yeah, we came home and then we just didn't know what was in, just like everyone, I just didn't know what was in store for us. Mm. And here we are, mm. a, a year completely changed um, but still trying to be positive and still making stuff and we made an album um, so it's really exciting and like the Sorting Room Studios I, I think is born out of this time and space um, so yeah for the future it's an, it's kind of a brilliant thing in some respects mm. and I think people are, uh, are now connecting to a simpler life which can only be a good thing I think yeah, so some good things have come out of this. Yeah, mm. definitely your album being one of them. And you mentioned that your that your marriage is a lot happier. <laughs> <laughs> and although I think I kind of missed that edge that of the of your banter, I think <laughs> we're too nice to I each other now. I think you need to bring some of that back. <laughs> I think we've gone too far. Then. I think <laughs> you've gone too far. Yeah. So you recorded this. So this was the first album that you've recorded at home. You turned your home into a studio. So. How did that differ from your previous experience of, say, like recording Brother C? And of course, you were. This is your first trio album, so mm. Brother C was big. A lot of, a lot of um, musicians weren't there, but this is your first trio trio album. So, how does it compare? It was lovely. It felt. Um, I think the combination of it being in our front room, um, it, it just felt very relaxed, and then the dynamic between the three of us and Josh as well, who was um, producing and sound engineering it. Um, It was just a really, yeah, really positive, relaxed, productive dynamic and atmosphere that was created. And um, yeah, I think even though obviously we were paying for Josh's time and the days were limited with how much we could get done but it there just wasn't that same feeling of pressure that comes from a studio Mm -hmm. and I think all of this comes across in the record I think Mm. um yeah I think it sounds sounds how the atmosphere was 
And it's, I think it's so important, the other stuff, like spending all day recording or when it was really hot, tipping buckets of water over <laughs> yeah. yourself outside. But, and then just like spending the evening together, so going for a swim in the river <laughs> and then watching the peep show together <laughs> and drinking whisk, strong whiskey and then Josh having to have a walk. I we oh. <laughs> Sorry, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> but wonderful memories all the same. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was going to ask you, yeah, if there are any funny moments um, pouring buckets of cold water over yourself. Set. That's what the hell was that all about? Just so keep uh, us on, keep us on edge. Yeah. Keep us lively. <laughs> when it was about six hundred degrees in yeah. the living room. <laughs> oh, so it was it's, really hot. Yeah, it's south-facing okay. living room, and this was during a heat wave. The first lot of recording, and yeah, had to have the curtains shut doors because shut. of sound stuff. Mm. And yeah, windows, doors, everything shut. Um, so Josh, yeah, Josh kept requesting water, <laughs> but we kept forcing him to work harder. Yeah, so demanding. <laughs> Didn't let him out of the room. Please, can I have some water? Or a cheese sandwich. <laughs> Just an apple and a glass of water. <laughs> <laughs> haven't seen Josh for a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a fantastic uh, result. And so you mentioned um, during the gig that you actually met Annie here. You supported Annie's duo, is that right, here, uh, 10 years ago or something. So how did yeah. you get from there to work, working together? Did you, it must have been a gradual process, presumably. Mm, mm, kind of just, well, I, it was when I was playing as Gareth Lee and Annie Bayliss and we did a gig here and these guys would support. I remember getting in the car on the way home and I was like, they were very nice people. I'd like to work with them again. And then, like, these things happen. It just, your paths don't cross again and you kind of, don't see each other and then a few years later um I was playing a gig with brother C because Rich Trithui the other fiddle player couldn't make it and I turned up and I was like hang on it's these guys <laughs> and and they'd been working with Chris for a little while before um and so then I think I did a couple of gigs with you guys and then it just sort of stuck <laughs> I've just never gone <laughs> no one's told me to leave yet so I'm still here it's a very na natural yeah and which yeah. is so nice when it happens yeah. like that a lot of the best things are just happen organically, don't they? Well, mm. you, you have a, a wonderful trio sound. It feels it's a, it's the it's the whole bottle and Jonas sound with extra weavings, isn't it? Yeah. It's, uh, it doesn't change it; just enhances mm. it, and it sounds beautiful. Really, awesome. mm -hmm. really fantastic. So, um, I just wanted to ask you about um, the songs on the album. Are your kind of traditional mix of historical, personal? Um, poetry new mm -hmm. and um, connection and uh, songs of the, about the human condition so you seem but you write how do you divide the writing and do you divide by subject or do you sp both write about the same things or do you write do you collaborate or I think we it, with this album we never discussed what we were writing about but we always say you can have five songs each it's just the always the way we've done it um, which seems fair because mm -hmm. um, it means the album will be eclectic because Freya writes in a different way that I do um, and yeah and we just we just found ourselves I think we're both quite deep thinkers we're both very spiritual people and um, so we spend a lot of time walking and um, and reading and listening and um, and so we end up just writing a, th a kind of a nature spirit th uh, filled album really so we went from See as My Brother to Field is my brother, <laughs> and then Freya was saying this morning that the next album album be a, a sky, <laughs> sky influenced album. So I need to get research in the cloud shapes. <laughs> Working your way up. Yeah, I like well, it. I think our friend Ed's already done that though, which is uh, he's beat us to it. Yeah. Oh well. well yeah, right up, right up my street, <laughs> as, as you know. We we swim together mm -hmm. in the river and in my Newcastle top. <laughs> yeah, in Dave's Newcastle Dave, top. Kate, there's a picture, a great picture of Kate with Dave 30 on the back. <laughs> the colour really suited you, that yeah, blue. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's better than all the alternatives you offered. <laughs> 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 I won't go into that. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm um, probably going to wrap it up, but I'd love to just um, yeah, ask you, what's what do you hope for next? What do you hope mm -hmm. is going to happen with this? I think we just want to want to start sharing music uh, music and stories with people again. Yeah. And uh, just make that connection again. Yeah. Really and starting to miss it now. Mm. Regular live shows so that yeah, it just that the songs really seep in to us. 
fantastic. So, yeah. And gigs are it's gone. And a, a film placement, um, so we can live off the royalties. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So anyone watching yeah. <laughs> can help out. Brilliant. And <laughs> as uh, well, gigs and festivals are kind of coming back. There seems to be light, like the light, the beacon okay. is shining a light on the future. Hopefully, and um, you'll be touring as a trio as much as possible, mm -hmm. presumably. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I should know, as I'm an agent. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be touring as a trio as much as possible with this beautiful album. I'd just like to say um, thank you, everyone who's tuned in. Please share the video with um, the rest of the world because it's going to be up there, I think, for the foreseeable future at least. Please tip in the tip jar if you haven't already. I, I did put the link in the in the, the chat, so scroll up if you can't find it the thousand times I posted it. <laughs> and um, massive thanks again to the sorting room, um, to Aubrey, Tommy and Jimmy <laughs> for making this run so smoothly. <laughs> Whoa. Well, now you clap for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but most of all, uh, massive thanks to you, Dave, Annie and Freya for writing this album for recording it and for bringing it tonight it's been absolutely thank magical thank you katie yeah thank you. thanks for being wonderful it's all just clap now the claps come <laughs> thank you good night everybody thank you the wind from these great eyes a mist lingering beneath black and darkened skies you can see it from the valley Gets into your skin, the darkness creeping in. Strong and steady